Hello guys, it's your boy Nelson Mime. Nelson Mime from Legitimate Income Online and from my channel as you can see it's my name over there. Just go and subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber. It will be cool, okay? So what I'm going to show you today, today is I'm going to show you how to print your, your server eh, into your hosting company. Eh, into a, a place where you, you purchase a domain, okay? In a place where you purchase your domain, okay? But the domain you don't need to transfer domain even though you can but today i'm going to show you on how you're going to point mm, your domain into your name server a place which you will see every file either a wordpress site you install your wordpress site that's what i'm going to show you because if you buy a domain name in a, a name register like name silo or in hostgator uh, or in godaddy name chip um, they don't give you a, a a a hosting okay a place where you're going to host in every file you have uh, every word every pictures and videos in that place but what they're going to give you they're going to give you a name but they give you a, a default hosting which when you type your name they're going to direct you into a page either their own page uh, because you do not point them to the hosting company okay in which you already purchase in either way okay so today i'm going to show you on how you're going to point that out okay uh, first of all you need to have an hostgator if you, uh, you already know i think you need to buy your hosting in hostgator okay you buy your hosting in hostgator uh, is the place which is cheap but when you buy a domain name in hostgator is going to cost you much compared to uh, this place named silo named silo the price is only almost nine dollar uh, which is stay starting saving you 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 saving wow. forever okay that is the place where you're going to starting out easily okay first of all what you need to do is just going to create your account if you're not yet a, a member or you you need to buy a domain name from mm, from named silo you need to creating your account okay that is one of the place which you need to do what what of the first thing which you need to do okay so you need to create an account then you're going to register your domain name for the given price nine dollar almost nine it's 18 and 99 cents okay so that is what i'm always like to suggest go to this because they give you a free but by the way they give you a lifetime free privacy i'm going to show you another video on how that's work uh, on the demon domain name which I buy from name silo how that is going to work okay I'm going to show you that how that is going to work okay so, so be patient I'll put the link somewhere here and you can go and check that out okay uh, somewhere some top way okay and go and check that out okay guys so that's how it is so today is how i'm going to show you is simple so i already say uh, you need to create an account with them after that you when you log in i already log in by the way you're going to manage my domain you can go either here i can go to my account here but i like it let's go to manage my account uh, sorry about those interruption uh, okay you can go to domain manager okay this is how it is you can go to domain manager those domain they're going to show you a domain which you already registered with this company yeah, which is pretty good okay what you need to do here is going to select a domain like this uh, this is our daily buzz.com which i already uh, buy in name silo so what i already point out also, also this but what you're going to do is just go to hostgator the company which you hosting all your file yeah? And remember that you need also to add the domain name which you purchase from from name silo in this hosting company okay so if you your, your site is almost it's already done yeah? if you already have a, a site you can just go into cPanel in the hostgator and then you're going to find your, your the server these are the servers yeah? I already buy a baby plan in, in hostgator so these are the servers which you're going to put in your name silo or if you you have a godaddy you buy a domain from godaddy or namecheap it's up to you but the cost remember guys the cost is different with name silo okay which is 
very good. I don't know where, uh, how they make money from it, but I think it's very good. Okay, it's very secure. Okay, that's how it is. So, what you need to do is just go to them silo. Remember, guys, already say, remember that you must add this domain. Either way, you can start in by uh, by pointing to a, a server and then you go to HostGator and then add the domain into the HostGator. Okay? So that they can, when people type in your domain name, they can direct it to our HostGator where all the file, a uh, WordPress site, you already install it into your, into your, uh, to your home online daily base or your site, by the way, and it's going to be easy. So what you need to do is just this. So you need to select a, on your, your domain name which you purchase. Then go to change servers, okay? When you click change servers, when you click change servers, what they're going to show you, they're going to show the list of the server which the site is pointed to. Okay, just like this. Okay, server. Do you see this? Okay, you can just. These are the are the name server from a hostgator company, guys. Hostgator, which I already take it from hostgator right here. Okay, so these those are the ones. Sorry for the noise. Those are the one. Okay. And they, it's only the matter for you to add both of them, and then after that, you can add the additional name server, whatever you like. But I always suggest to add only one from your hostgator, okay? You can add the only two, two those which they provide you primary and the secondary. Both of them you should add it to after that, then you can click update, and then voila, easy and simple, guys. Easy and simple, then you continue. With your site, then you go into Hostgator. After doing that, you can just wait in one day. They can do that for 48 hours for the server to set up easy and uh, to know files which have been directed. And when they tap in your site, when they tap your site, they go into when they tap your site, you are either a certain site they're going to direct it to that server which is hosting your company, which hosting your files. Okay, that's how the things work. That's how these things work. So, guys, thank you for taking your time. And remember, I'm going to also also show you a video on how you're going to add the domain. If you already point that out, then I'm going to show you on how to add your domain and then install a WordPress site in that domain. So, thank you, guys, and I hope you stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you, and bye.